I'd like to call this meeting of your North City Council to order. I'll call the roll. Mr. Bubb? Here. Mr. Cost? Here. Mr. Fennell? Here. Mr. Frazier? Present. Ms. Hall? Here. Mr. Labutis? Here. Mr. Lang? Here. Mr. Marmy? Present. Mr. Rath? Here. And Mr. Blake? Here. We have all here this evening. Uh, if you'd please stand and join Mr. Blake in the invocation, followed by the Pledge of Allegiance. Let me bow your heads. Righteous Lord, you know how we are all so connected by family, friendship, fellowship, and faith. We are united in praying for our community and all of our neighbors and citizens. Please help our brothers and sisters to find peace and shared love for one another. We care for one another. All these blessings we ask in your honor. Amen. Thank you, Mr. Blake. Please join me in the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. Next on the agenda, we have caucus. That's the time for council to discuss anything pertaining to the agenda tonight. Do we have anything? Mr. President, Mr. Frazier. Um, for Ordinance 1907, um, there's been some requests to make some modifications to the CRA. So I'm going to make a motion in due time in order to uh, table that to be reconvened on March 4th for um, the Economic Development Committee to reconsider. So you're going to send it back to committee? Yep. Mr. President, <coughs> so I will abstain from debate and or vote um, on Resolution 19-12 as I serve on the Fairway States Homeowners Association. <coughs> Thank you, Mr. Ruff. That'll be for the public hearing, and then also we'll be voting on that this evening. Thank you. Anything else? Seeing none, we'll move on to the minutes of our February 4th, 2019 meeting. Do we have a motion to approve that? Motion. Motion by Mr. Robotis. Second. Second by Mr. Frazier. All those in favor, signify by saying aye. 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 On the same side. That passes. Thank you. Next, for reports of standing committees, we have three reports this evening, one for finance, one for service, and one for economic development. Without objection, those will be received and filed. Uh, next, we have reports from city officials. We have one from our auditor, Stephen Johnson, the operating report for the period ending January 31st, 2019. Without objection, that will be received and filed. And also under communications this evening, we have one from the Ohio Division of Liquor Control, a new application by Family Dollar Stores of Ohio at 1036 Mount Vernon Road. Next on the agenda this evening, we have a public hearing. We're going to open the public hearing. Autumn, would you please read 19-12? <coughs> resolution 19-12 by Mr. Rath, Mr. Koss, Mr. Marmy, a resolution determining that the improvements should be made to properties in and abutting Fairway Estates subdivision along Hornsill Road by upgrading the existing sanitary sewer system and installing a new gravity sewer system and the necessary purchases there too and declaring an emergency. Again, we will open a public hearing for this 19-12. Uh, Anyone who would like to speak for or against? This is your opportunity to be heard. Anyone for or against? One more time. Anyone would like to speak for or against? Okay. We're going to go ahead and close the public hearing. Autumn, would you read 19-12 again, please? Resolution 19-12 by Mr. Rath, Mr. Koss, Mr. Marmy, a resolution determining that the improvement should be made to properties in and abutting Fairway Estates subdivision and along Lawrence Hill Road by upgrading the existing sanitary sewer system and installing a new gravity sewer system mm -hmm. and the necessary appurtenances thereto and declaring an emergency. You've heard the first reading of 19-12. It is an emergency. What is your wish? Mr. President. Mr. Rath. To make a motion to adopt 19-12. Motion by Mr. Rath, <laughs> second by Mr. Cost. Is there any discussion on 19-12? Mr. President, Mr. Rath? Uh, this has been discussed <coughs> previously in committee meetings as well as council meetings. Uh, there's an emergency on this because of uh, production time frames. Thank you. Anyone else? Autumn, please call the roll to vote. Mr. Bubb? Abstain. <coughs> Mr. Cost? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Lapidus? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Yes. Mr. Rath? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. We have nine yes and one abstain. So 19-12 passes. Next we move on to comments from citizens. There are two times for comments from citizens this evening. One is now and one is after the legislation. 
this is just your chance to be heard. This is not a debate with counsel. Would anyone like to speak this first section of public comments? If you would, just raise your hand. Okay. We'll move on to ordinances on the first reading, 19-03. Ordinance 19-03 by Mr. Koss, Mr. Marmy, Mr. Rath, Mr. Frazier. It's an, it's an ordinance to provide for the issuance of revenue bonds from time to time for the purpose of paying the cost of improving the city's municipal water system or refunding debt issued by the city for that purpose, providing for the authorization, ex execution, and delivery of a master trust agreement that provides for the rights of the holders of the bonds, providing for the pledge of certain revenues and funds to secure those bonds and declaring an emergency. 19-03 is on the first reading, but it's an emergency. What is your wish? Mr. President. Mr. Marmon. Make a motion to adopt Ordinance 19-03. Motion to adopt by Mr. Marmon. Second. Second by Mr. Frazier. Is there any discussion on 19-03? <coughs> Seeing none, I'll please call the roll to vote. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmee? Yes. Mr. Rapp? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. 19-03 passes 10-0. Next we have 19-04. Ordinance. 19-04 by Mr. Koss, Mr. Marmee, Mr. Rapp, Mr. Frazier, an ordinance to provide for the issuance and sale of water system revenue bonds in an amount not to exceed $17 million and zero cents for the purpose of paying cost of improvements to the utility and of discharging at maturity notes of the city heretofore issued for that purpose authorizing a supplemental trust agreement and other documents relating to the series 2019 bonds and declaring an emergency. 19-04 is on its first reading but it is an emergency. What is your wish? Mr. President. Mr. Marmon. Make a motion to adopt ordinance 19-04. Motion to adopt by Mr. Marmon. Second. Second by Mr. Frazier. Is there any discussion on 19-04? Seeing none, I'll please call the roll to vote. Mr. Bubb. Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmee? Yes. Mr. Rapp? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. 19-04, uh, ordinance 19-04 passes 10 to 0. Next we go on to resolutions on the second reading. 19-04 on the resolutions. Resolution 19-04 by Mr. Marmee, Mr. Koss, Mr. Rapp, Mr. Lang, Mr. Frazier, a resolution appropriating monies for the current expenses of the municipal corporation. You've heard the second reading of resolution 19-04. What is your wish? Mr. President. Mr. Marmon. Make a motion to adopt <coughs> resolution 19-04. Motion by Mr. Marmon. Second. Second by Mr. Frazier. Is there any discussion on 19-04? Seeing none, I'll please call the roll vote. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmee? Yes. Mr. Rath? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. 19-04 passes 10-0. Next on the second reading, we have 19-07. Mr. President? Uh, let, let on read first, please. Okay. Patient. That's okay. Resolution 19-07 by Mr. Rath, Mr. Koss, Mr. Frazier, Mr. Labutis. A resolution amending resolution number 81-9 of expanding the boundaries of community reinvestment area number one. Mr. Frazier, I'm sensing you'd like to say something. Mr. President, I would like to make a motion to table this legislation to be heard in committee. Point of order. Mr. Marmon. It needs to be brought to the table first, then uh, table. Well, I think we can make a motion to uh, send it back to committee without a motion to table. Is that correct, Mr. Sasson? That's correct. Oh. I think the motion is actually a motion to return to committee. committee, committee. Yes, it's technically a not a table, but to return to committee. I would like to make a motion to return it back to committee. Is there a second? Second. Sorry, Sorry who seconded that? Mr. Lyon, mm -hmm. thank you. Is there any discussion on 19-07? <clears throat> so what you're asking to do is just return this to the next committee meeting, which is March 4th. Correct. Any discussion? Seeing none, I'll please call the roll vote. On sending it back to the okay. committee. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmee? Yes. Mr. Rath? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. So 19 07 will be sent back to committee on March 7th. March 4th. 
March 4th. That one too. That day too. <laughs> <laughs> Next we have resolutions on the first reading, 19-09. <clears throat> Resolution 19-09 by Mr. Marmee, Mr. Labutis, Mr. Cost, and Mr. Rath. A resolution appropriating monies for the current expenses of municipal corporation. The first or second reading of, oh, first reading, I'm sorry, of 19-09. Yeah, Mr. President. Mr. Marmee. Make a motion to waive the two-day reading rule on resolution 19-09. Motion to waive the two-day reading rule by Mr. Marmee. Second. Second by Mr. Frazier. Mr. Marmee. Yes, um, we have some bills that are due, and we, in order to meet the timeline of those due dates, we need to expedite this. Thank you, Mr. Marmion. Please call the roll to waive the two-day reading rule. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lane? Yes. Mr. Marmee? Yes. Mr. Rapp? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. Two-day reading rule has been waived, Mr. Marmee. Need to make a motion to adopt resolution 19-09. Motion to adopt 19-09 by Mr. Marmee. Second. Second by Mr. Frazier. Is there any other discussion on 19-09? <coughs> Seeing none, I'll please call the roll vote. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmee? Yes. Mr. Rapp? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. 19-09 passes 10-0. Next on the first reading, we have 1910. Resolution 19-10 by Mr. Marmee, Mr. Labutis, Mr. Cost, Mr. Rath, and Mr. Frazier. A resolution authorizing and directing the mayor of the city of North to enter into partnership with Heritage Ohio to apply for financial support from the Ohio History Connection Certified Local Government Grant for federal fiscal year 2019. 19-10 will be held to our next reading, the next meeting on March 4th. And finally this evening, we have 19-11. Resolution 19-11 by Mr. Marmee, Mr. Labutis, Mr. Koss, Mr. Rath, Mr. Frazier. A resolution authorizing and directing the mayor of the city of North to prepare and submit applications to the U.S. EPA for fiscal year 2010 Clean Diesel Funding Assistance Program. Mr. President. Mr. Marmee. Make a, a motion to waive the two-day reading rule. Resolution 19-11. Motion second. to waive the two-day reading rule by Mr. Marmee. Second by Mr. Frazier. Mr. Marmee. Yes, uh, this needs to be expedited in order to meet the deadline Thank of you, the Mr. application process. Thank you, Mr. Marmee. Autumn, please call the roll to waive the two-day re rule. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmee? Yes. Mr. Rath? Yes. Mr. Blake? Yes. Two-day re rule has been waived, Mr. Marmee. Thank you, Mr. President. Make a motion to adopt Resolution 19-11. Motion to adopt by Mr. Marmee. Second. Second by Mr. Frazier. Is there any discussion on 19-11? Seeing none, I'll please call the roll vote. Mr. Bubb? Yes. Mr. Koss? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmee? Yes. Mr. Rath? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. 19-11 passes 10-0. And that concludes our legislation this evening. Thank you. Next, we have our second opportunity for comments from citizens. Again, this is not a debate with council. This is just your opportunity to be heard. Do we have anyone who would like to speak this evening? Do we have anyone from the uh, city administration? I'm sorry. Would you like to speak, ma'am? Yeah, I have a question. Just made it. Rochelle Volan-Smith, um, 237 Violet Court. Um, could you clarify what um, 1910 is about and what areas? Uh, I am not sure. That will be held for two weeks for the next reading. We'll, I'll check and let you know afterwards if you'd like. Okay, thank you. Anyone from the administration? Actually, Mr. President, I have a request. And that is on resolution 19-10, when I presented a committee, I'd ask that it be expedited tonight. Um, Heritage Ohio is on a timeline to get their um, finances in order in order to put on this um, meeting in October. And they had asked that we uh, get this voted on tonight so that we could email them and let them know tomorrow whether or not it was passed. So I. I'm not sure how to approach you on this, but that's okay. our intent was to, to do that. So you want to waive the two-day reading rule on that, possibly? Yes. Okay. 
Could you answer the chairman's question about 19-10 since you're there? I'd be happy to. Um, Heritage Ohio is a organization uh, that's um, very much involved in leading revitalization of cities uh, throughout the state of Ohio. They have an annual conference, and this year they've chosen the city of Newark to hold their annual conference. It's a three-day conference on October 21st, 22nd, and 23rd. And this legislation will allow us to apply for a certified local government grant, and we'll partner with the Heritage Ohio on that grant, and they're going to use those funds to pay for a keynote speaker that's going to come into Newark and pay for his expenses to, um, to come in and speak to the organization and the people who are attending from around the state of Ohio. You're welcome. Thank you, Mr. Barr. You've heard the first reading of 19-10. We'll return to that. What is your wish? I make a motion to waive the two-day reading rule on Resolution 19-10. Motion to waive the two-day reading rule by Mr. Marmy, second by Mr. Cost. Mr. Marmy. Yes, we just heard the purpose of it. Okay. Thank you, Mr. Marmy. Autumn, please call the roll away the two-day reading rule. Mr. Bob? Yes. Mr. Cost? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Yes. Mr. Rapp? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. <coughs> two-day reading rule has been waived, Mr. Marmy. Thank you, Mr. President. Make a motion to adopt Resolution 19-10. Motion to adopt Second. by Mr. Marmy. Second by Mr. Cost. Is there any discussion on 19-10? Here. Autumn, let's call the roll vote. Mr. Bob? Yes. Mr. Cos? Yes. Mr. Fennell? Yes. Mr. Frazier? Yes. Ms. Hall? Yes. Mr. Labutis? Yes. Mr. Lang? Yes. Mr. Marmy? Yes. Mr. Rapp? Yes. And Mr. Blake? Yes. 19-10 passes 10-0. Anyone else on administration to say? Dr. Baum. Thank you. Uh, I'd just like to thank uh, Chief Connor and all his firefighters for the work that went into their annual report. It's not a one-person job. Everybody participates. Uh, I'd also like to point out I was happy to hear that uh, overdoses have declined. Let's hope that's a trend. And I was particularly happy to hear that opioid overdoses have fallen out of first place, so to speak, in the city of Newark. So that's all I wanted to say. Thank you. Thank you, Director. I'll direct your sass. Thank you, Mr. President. I'll pass. Mayor Hall. I will pass this evening. Thank you. Thank you, Mayor. Mr. Buck. Thank you, Mr. President. Uh, just two items this evening. I want to thank the administration and everyone involved for the security upgrades in the front lobby. It's, uh, it's been much needed for a while, so I want to thank everyone for that. And I also want to pass my condolences on to the friends and family of Tom Swank, uh, general manager of WNKO WHDH. Um, Really did a lot for this community for a long time and uh, touched many lives. So I just want to pass my condolences, and with that, I will pass. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Mr. Cost. I would also like to thank Chief Connor for the report that he gave. He always does a, a very, uh, very nice job. Okay. So I'll pass. Thank you, Mr. Cost. Mr. Fennell. Thank you, Mr. President. I'd also like to say thank you to the, uh, the chief and also the fire department for all the work that they're doing. I think it's very encouraging to hear about the collaboration that's happening. Uh, between the fire department and the police department as well. But, uh, I will... Thank you, Mr. Fennell. Mr. Treasurer? Uh, Mr. President. Mr. Treasurer. Um, I'd like to start with thanking Jeff Hotchkiss for coming to the HHCA meeting, speaking about the Parks Department, all the work they've been doing over the last few years, including um, the project that they're putting for North Street Park. Um, also, as part of the chicken noodle dinner, we had um, the largest fundraiser we've had for the HHCA, and we raised over $4,000 prior to expenses. And so um, the plan is that the HHCA has set aside $2,000 to put their own um, additional funding into North Street Park as well to assist in that effort. I'd like to thank the fire chief and, and the fire forces and, and all of our safety forces for, for the great job they do every day. I also want to thank the, the street and the service department for, for the work they're doing on the roads with this crazy weather that we can't seem to make up our mind on. So I appreciate their willingness to, to get out there and do the work. Um, I have to call an economic development com committee for March 4th, and I also want to congratulate the Newark Boys basketball team on their OCC championship. And with that, I'll yield. Thank you, Mr. Reed. Ms. Hall. Thank you, Mr. Pass. Thank you, Ms. Hall. Mr. Labutis. I want to thank uh, Chief Carter for his report this evening. It was great to hear uh, the information he had to provide off of the uh, report. And I uh, thank you for, to him and to uh, both fire and our police as well for all they do for us every day. 
that, I will pass. Thank you, Mr. Lewis. Mr. Lyon? Yeah, I'll share thanking uh, Chief Connor for coming tonight. A couple of things that stood out to me that I, I thought were real, real good pieces of news. Um, getting back to 79 full time, being fully staffed. I think at this time last year, we weren't quite there. Um, so I was happy to hear that. Um, encouraged by the administration willing to uh, apply for the additional safer grants. I think that'll be an important part of funding the new fire station next year. And then last, I'd like to commend the chief and, and the department. I think we're doing, starting to do a better job uh, with addressing mental health. I was really encouraged hearing about the, the training that we're going to be doing to get a support, uh, peer-to-peer -peer support uh, program in place at the, the fire department. But that'll yield. Thank you, Mr. Lott. Mr. Mark. Thank you, Mr. President. We call a finance committee meeting, and uh, I, too, would like to echo my condolences uh, for the Smike family and everybody who's close to him. Um, he did do a tremendous amount for this community over the years, and not only just recently, but I mean, for a lot of years. So my condolences, and it's a huge loss for the community. And with that, I pass. Thank you, Mr. Farmer. Mr. Rapp. Thank you, Mr. President. I, too, want to thank uh, Fire Chief for coming, and I think the most thing I was particularly impressed with was the amount of outside sources of income that, that he's done uh, in, in different creative ways that, that he's finding ways to find additional money for the fire department. I was very encouraged with that. Uh, I call it a service committee meeting for March 4th, and with that, I will thank you. Mr. Rath and Mr. Black. Uh, thank you, Mr. President. Um, clearly, with everyone's comments, we have a true leadership within our fire department. And so, I want to also pass on my uh, thanks for him presenting the information that he did and the annual uh, report. I also want to thank uh, Roger's left, but I want to thank Roger Loomis. Um, he helped. Uh, we had a college researcher doing some a project on water quality and water infrastructure, and uh, Roger helped with a tour of the uh, water treatment uh, facility about two weeks ago, so I wanted to make sure I get my thanks out there for him publicly. Uh, we want to remind everyone that this Saturday morning is the, is the North Kiwanis breakfast at the Grove by the River, so if you're looking for some pancakes and sausage, feel free to stop by. Um, Bob Hanlon's kind of arranged a, a lineup of music and entertainment that morning. And then sat, uh, Sunday, Trinity Amy Church has their annual uh, Black History Program at 3.30, um, that's Sunday. And then uh, next Thursday, OSU COTC's uh, Black History Program starts at 5 o'clock. And with that, I'll pass Mr. President. Thank you, Mr. <coughs> Mr. Rose, maybe tonight will be the last time for snow removal. We uh, just keeping their fingers we got, crossed. We got, we got crews coming in at 10. Well, maybe this will be it, hopefully. Yeah. Our next committee meeting will be March 4th at 545. Our, our committees. Uh, I'm sorry. Our next full council meeting will be also uh, that same night, Monday, Monday the 4th at 7 o'clock. Is there a motion to adjourn? Motion. Motion Second. by Mr. Koss. Second. Second by Mr. Lang. All those in favor signify by saying aye. Aye. We'll adjourn. 723.